Hello friends and welcome back for yet another tutorial for our heirloom Afghan crochet along. Today we're going to be doing block 12. It's called the open ridge stitch. I haven't come up with a farm related name for this one yet so maybe it will come to me as we're working on it or maybe you'll have some suggestions for it. But we're going to start with color C and for me color C is teal. I'm going to go ahead and start with a slip stitch here. Load that onto our hook and let's get started. For this block, if you want to make this into a larger blanket, you're going to want to make sure that your chain is in multiples of two plus one. For our block today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So there we have our chain of 25. For row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. Here's our first chain, and here's our second chain. We're going to just enter that chain there and grab our yarn and pull it back through. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. Going to our next chain, we're going to enter our chain, grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through. We have two loops on our hook, we yarn over, and pull through both, and that completes our next single crochet. We're going to place a single crochet in each of our chains across. We will end up with 24 single crochet when we're done. Twenty-two, oops, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So there's row one. We have twenty-four single crochet, and let's move on. For row two, we're going to chain two. One, two. Okay, here's where we need to pay attention. Okay, for row two, we're going to complete half double crochets. We worked single crochets in row one. We're going to work on half double crochets here. We're going to place a half double crochet in our first stitch here. So yarn over going into the stitch, making sure we get both the front loop and the back loop. Grabbing our yarn and pulling back through, we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. So again, there's our half double crochet. Now we got to go back to this stitch that we skipped. This is a sequence that we're going to start following from this point forward on this row. We're not going to just keep moving forward. We've got to go back now. We've got to grab this stitch. So we're going to complete a half double crochet in this stitch, making sure that when you go into the stitch you get both the front loop and the back loop. So we're going to yarn over, go back and grab that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay. We're going to skip the next stitch and complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. And we're going to go back 
and grab that stitch that we missed and complete a half double crochet there. Skip a stitch, complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Going back to the stitch that we skipped and completing a half double crochet. Skip the next stitch and complete a half double crochet in the stitch after that. And go back and get that stitch and complete a half double crochet. And we're just going to complete the sequence to the end. Making sure you keep an eye on your tension. Don't allow yourself to get too tight. And sometimes it's just a little difficult. Make sure when you go back, go through both loops, the front loop and the back loop of that half of that stitch that you skipped. Half double crochet. Going back to the stitch you skipped and completing a half double crochet. All right, we have one stitch left here at the end, the one single crochet left. We're just gonna half double crochet in that stitch there. And so there's row two. Now as you look at this, you see all these little, all these cute little almost crisscross X's as you come across. What do you think? Should we call this skipping stones? Like when you go out to the pond and you skip stones across the pond? Or do, should we call it crisscross applesauce? Because we do have a little crisscross pattern here. I think we might have more though as we do our blocks. We might have some more crisscross ones. So let's call this one skipping stones, shall we? Because we're skipping and then we're going back. So that's the end of row two. Let's go ahead and move on to row three. We're going to chain one and turn. Now here's where I want you to pay attention. Important, important, important. And I'll try to zoom in so you can see this. I'm going to take my hook out here. Let's look at our work. On our stitches here, we have our little V's on top of our work with our front post and our back post. But as we look forward again, do you see we've got these little horizontal little bars? This is where when we did our backwards half double crochets, they create these little slants. We're going to be working in these little slants, not working in the top posts, or I'm sorry, in the top loops of our work. We're going to be working in these little slants. So let's put our hook back on our work here. We've already chained one and turn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in each of these little horizontal strands across. So you want to come up from underneath your work right here. There's a horizontal strand and just get the horizontal strand. So as I put my hook through that little horizontal strand, it's at the front of your work. If I turn, you'll see we still have our front loop and our back loop. We're not working in those. We're just working in this little horizontal strand. So we're going to complete a single crochet. Right here I have a strand. I'm going to pick that up and complete a single crochet. Right here I've got a little strand. Pick that up and complete a single crochet. And you're going to do this all the way across your work, completing a single crochet in every little horizontal strand that you see, double checking as you go across to make sure that you're not picking up 
either a front loop or a back loop. So let me do a few more and we'll check that. Here's a horizontal strand. Here's a horizontal strand, single crochet. Here's a horizontal strand, single crochet. And let's look. As I turn our work over, here are our front loops and back loops, okay? So we're gonna work across. When we get to the end, we're gonna want 24 single crochet. And so we're just making sure that we're getting a single crochet in each of these horizontal strands as we work across. And always remember, just come up from the bottom towards the top of your work and grab your yarn and pull it through. And it might take you a little, to, a little while to recognize where those strands are. Just kind of be mindful, look for them. They'll, you'll see them and as you do this work, you'll start recognizing them more and more as you work across. I'm going to go right to this very last one here, this little horizontal stitch. A little hard to get my hook in there. Grab that and complete a single crochet. And we're going to chain two and turn. So we're going to complete a half double crochet in our very first stitch here. We're going to skip a stitch and complete a half double crochet in the next stitch, making sure you go through both the front loops and the back loops of those stitches. We're going to complete a half double crochet in our skipped stitch. We're going to skip a stitch and complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Going back and completing a half double crochet in the skipped stitch. Making sure when you enter those stitches, you're getting both the front loop and the back loop. Skip a stitch, complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Go back and complete a half double crochet in your skipped stitch. Skip a stitch, half double crochet in your next stitch. Go back to your skip stitch and complete a half double crochet. And we're gonna continue that pattern again all the way across till we get to the end. So again, we're gonna skip, half double crochet in the next, go back to the skipped stitch and complete a half double crochet. And like I said, I think we're just gonna call this skipping stones. Skip, half double crochet. Back to the skip stitch, half double crochet. Skip, half double crochet in the next stitch. Go back to the skip stitch and complete a half double crochet. Skip, go to the next stitch and complete a half double crochet. Go back to the stitch that you skipped and complete a half double crochet. Just don't forget, you always want to go back and get that stitch that you skipped or your count is going to be off. When you get to the end of your row, you're always going to skip a stitch, go to the next stitch and do your half double crochet, go back to the skipped stitch and complete a half double crochet and you're just going to have one stitch left at the end and you're just going to place a half double crochet. So that's kind of a little hint. If you get there and you ended with going back, you're off somewhere. You're always going to end 
with a half double crochet there at the end of your row. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Here's our front loops and our back loops up here, but we're going to work in these little slanted stitches in the front here. So again, we're just working single crochets. We're going to find our little slant stitches and let's count them across. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get in there, <laughs> ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whoops, 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 16, I almost went in the same one twice, there's tricky. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and one more. And it's tricky to get that last one in there. And 24. We're going to chain two and turn and look at our work. There we go. Here's our ridges. We've got these little ridges on top here. Kind of like our last block that we did that had all of the little ridges on our tin roof. But then we've got these cute little crisscrosses in front from our half double crochets. So we're going to complete row two and row three, row two and row three, until we get our block where we want it. I'm going to complete two more rows and then we're going to check it for gauge against block two. So again, going into our first stitch here, I'm going to complete a half double crochet. I'm going to skip the next stitch and do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And again, we're working on top of our stitches. Now again, we're working in the front loop, back loop. Make sure you get both of them. We're going to go back to the stitch that we skipped and complete a half double crochet. And when you do that, when you go backwards like that, that's what's creating that little slant stitch that you're going to be working into. We're going to skip a stitch and do a half double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to go back and do a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. Skip. Complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Complete a half double crochet in the stitch that we missed. Skip. Complete a half double crochet in the next stitch. Complete a half double crochet back in the stitch that we missed. Now if this is moving too fast for you, you are encouraged. I want you to pause the video, rewind the video, uh, go back and refer to it as many times as you need to. If you find that you're feeling a little bit lost, I do have a separate tutorial showing you just precisely how to do these two rows. So you can go back and watch that tutorial until you're comfortable and then come back and complete your block. So we just went backwards. We're going to skip one, do one. Here's a half double crochet here. We're going to go back and pick up the half double crochet that we skipped. Skip one, half double crochet in the next, and go back and pick up the stitch that we skipped. Skip one, half double crochet in the next, and go back and pick up the stitch that we skipped. Skip one, half double crochet in the next, and go back and complete a half double crochet 
in the stitch that we skipped. I'm going to keep going on with the next few stitches and then we will meet up at the end of the row. And here we're picking up the last stitch that we skipped and we're going to end with putting a half double crochet in the very last stitch. Don't forget that one. That one's important. You have to end each row with just a half double crochet. There we go. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to do a single crochet in each of these little horizontal stitches. We've got our front loops and our back loops up here. We're not working in these. As you move it forward, this almost looks like a mock front loop and back loop. And so it's just this little slant stitch that you want to grab just that one little slant stitch and complete a single crochet. I shouldn't call it a slant stitch. It's just this little slanted little loop. Three. Four, and just make sure you go from the underneath side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and right here at the very end and it's it's difficult to get <laughs> this one's being a booger my goodness 24 <laughs> there we got it chain two and turn There we go. So here we have our ridges and here we have our little crisscrosses. Let's grab block two and see how we're doing on our gauge, shall we? Here's block two. This was a half double crochet block that we did at the beginning of our crochet along. We're just gonna lay our piece on top of here. So we kinda wanna be about right here and here. Now as this stretches out as we work it, I think we're going to be okay right about there because we have room for our first row of edging right there. If you're a tight crocheter and you think that your square is going to end up a little small, you can add two at your beginning chain and you'll, you'll extend out a little bit more. But I think as your work grows um, and you're able to get it where it needs to be, you're going to be just about right, hopefully. I think I'm going to stick with what I've got and I'm going to continue on. So I'm going to set my, my comparison block aside. And I'm going to go right back into what we were working on here. I'm going to complete a half double crochet in my first stitch. Skip a stitch, complete a half double crochet in the next. And go back and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that I skipped. I'm going to skip a stitch and complete a half double crochet in the next and go back and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that I skipped. Skip a stitch, go to the next stitch and complete a half double crochet and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that I skipped. And I'm just going to continue this pattern all the way 
to the end of my row with this sequence of skipping and going back for our little skipping stones block and I will see you at the end of the row. So just enjoy the music while we crochet along together. And here I'm down to my last three stitches. Again, you want to make sure that you end with skipping a stitch, going back and picking up that skipped stitch, and you want to make sure that you still have a stitch here at the end to complete your very last half double crochet of the row. There we go. I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to complete a single crochet just in these little slant stitches. They're like little mock front loops all the way across, making sure I have 24 when I get to the end of my row. So here's one, two, three, four, Five, and your, your hook should just slide right into them easily. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Twenty one. 22, 23, and as we discussed before, even those go in easy, this last one always a little difficult. There's 24, that was a little easier for me that time. Chain two and turn. We're gonna go right back into our half double crochet sequence. So in our very first stitch, half double crochet, skip a stitch, half double crochet in the next. We're going to go back and do a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. We're going to skip a stitch and complete a half double crochet in the next. And then complete a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. I'm going to continue on to the end of the row. Pause if you need to. If you find that this is a little bit confusing for you, Please feel free to go back and watch the tutorial on this stitch sequence that I have on my channel for you. It'll just be working two rows so that you can familiarize yourself with the stitch pattern that we will be using, the sequence of repeat, to get our pattern. Because by now you should really know the single crochet perfectly fine, as well as the half double crochet. You just need to learn the sequencing that we're using to get our pattern to fall into place. So I do have a separate tutorial for that that you can go back and watch until you're familiar and comfortable with how this is going to work. And then you can come back and work this block with us. And that's only if you need to. Again, this is not a race. This is not a competition. I don't want you to say, I don't crochet at the same speed that you do, so I can't do this crochet along. Nonsense. 
I want you to crochet at the speed that's comfortable for you. I want you to put out a quality product at the end, not one that you were able to just get done quickly. So we completed our row there with just the half double crochet at the very end stitch. We're going to chain one and turn. And again, we're going to work just in these little slant stitches, not in our front loop, back loop on top. You can see those very, very clearly. Keep it tilted to the front and look at these little mock little front loops that we've got across. We're going to be completing our single crochets in those across. I'm going to count quietly to myself while you work on your project while we enjoy the music and I'll see you at the end of the row. And there we go, I say about halfway done. This one actually moves pretty quickly once you get the hang of what you're doing. Here we have our ridges and then our little open crisscrosses. So I'm going to go back here because I don't think I chained up correctly. I'm going to chain two and come back and I'm going to complete a half double crochet in my first stitch there skip a stitch, half double crochet, and go back and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that I skipped. Skip a stitch, complete a half double crochet, and go back and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that I skipped. I'm going to keep working across to the end of the row once again, and count quietly to myself while we enjoy the music. I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to complete a half double crochet my very last stitch there and chain one and turn. I can't decide which side I like better. This side sure is pretty, but you know this is the wrong side of our work. The side with the pretty ridges. This open ridge stitch. This is the correct side of our work. This is the side that will be up on our afghan. But this is pretty too, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty. We chained one and turned, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to work just in these little faux loops in the back here and complete a single crochet in each of my little slanted stitches. 
for a total of 24 across. three and right here at the end I'm gonna do 24 chain two and turn okay going right back into our pattern repeat of a half double crochet skip one half double crochet in the next stitch and go back and half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped skip one half double crochet in the next and go back and a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. Skip one, half double crochet and a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. And I'm going to continue on working on to the end of our row. We're down to where we've got three stitches left. We're going to skip one and complete a half double crochet. Go back and complete a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped and complete a half double crochet in our very last stitch and chain one and turn. And here we are again. We're going to work in our little slanted stitches completing single crochets across. You want a total of 24, so counting to yourself, I will catch you at the end. Twenty three, and right here at the end, I'm going to put twenty four and chain two and turn. Let's see how we're looking. Let's see how we're looking here with block two. Thank you. 
Again, a little bit tight, but I think I'm going to be okay. I'm going to leave it right where it is. As it starts taking its shape and it elongates a little bit on the sides, we can see all of the little spaces in our ridges, which is what we want. This is an open ridge. We want those little spaces. And I think we're doing pretty good on size there. So I'm a little bit more than halfway. I would say probably another four, maybe six rows. I'll be up to where I need to be up here to the top of my block and we'll be ready for our edging. So I'm just going to continue on. We just completed uh, our single crochet row. We're going to go right back into our half double crochet row, half double crochet, skip a stitch, half double crochet. Go back to the stitch we skipped and place a half double crochet. Skip a stitch, half double crochet. Go back to the stitch we skipped and complete a half double crochet. Enjoy the music while I continue on to the end of our row. We're down to our final three. Skip a stitch and place a half double crochet. Go back and place a half double crochet in the stitch that we skipped and complete a half double crochet in our very last stitch of this row and chain one. And then we're going to place single crochets in each of the little slanted stitches across for a total of 24. Twenty one, twenty two. Oops, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. Twenty two, twenty three, and right there, twenty four. Chain two and turn. Going right back into our half double crochet pattern of skipping a stitch and completing a half double crochet, going back and completing a half double crochet in our stitch that we skipped, skip a stitch, and go back and pick up that stitch. Skip a stitch, and go back and pick up that stitch. And I'm going to continue working across what I think might be my last time I complete this row for this block. When I get done with this row, I'm going to complete row three one more time, and then we will see how it fares, and then we will see how it measures up to block two.
All right, let's try this one last time for our single crochet row, and then I'm gonna measure and see where we're at. Now, as you just saw, when I'm grabbing that little slant stitch, sometimes your hook wants to get the loop up here, your back loop, front loop. Make sure you don't do that. You only want that little slant stitch that's like a little faux front loop. Don't grab the top of your actual stitch. See how I almost did that again? Make sure you watch for that because if you accidentally grab it, the front of your work is not gonna look right. You're gonna see little mistakes. So just make sure you grab that little faux loop as you're working across. Whoops. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. I'm anxious to see how this is going to look, so I'm not quite being as careful as I should be. As much as I tell all of you to take your time and be careful, I'm being a little anxious because I want to see this. And then just one more I'm going to put right there. I'm going to chain one and turn and see where we're at. Grab my deal here. You know, I think I'm about there because if I put this here, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not quite there, am I? If I'm going to be honest with myself and not stretch this out, I need two more rows. So one more row of two and one more row of three, and this will be ready for the edging. I was going to try to fudge it. I was going to try to make it work, but it wasn't to be. So I already chained one. I'm going to chain another one there and turn my work and I'm gonna do my half double crochets again there's a half double crochet in our very first stitch we're going to skip a stitch and complete a half double crochet in the next stitch then we're gonna go back and pick up the stitch we missed with a half double crochet I'm gonna work across to the end while we enjoy the music Twenty three and twenty four, chain one and turn. And I'm going to work twenty four single crochet across in those little slip stitches that we've got in the back here, these little slant stitches.
11. That one's being difficult. Twenty two. There's twenty three, and there's somewhere twenty four. Get on there, you booger. All right, let's look at what we've got now. Let's fold it over corner to corner and see if we've got what appears to be a pretty true square. I'd say we're pretty good there. We've created a nice little triangle. Almost perfect. Let's look at what we've got here. I say we are there. Now if you're just joining us, you're going to say that's not as big as this one. This one's bigger. Well, it's because we have a row of edging in the same color around, so that's going to fill that out a little bit. Then we'll put our final row of white on. So I'm ready to go to my edging. Now keeping in mind, depending on where you end up, whether you end up with a row two or a row three, will depend on your gauge. You may not have the same number of rows as I do, so you may not have ended with single crochets. You may have ended with the half double crochets, and that's okay. Wherever you end up with is where you're going to start your edging. You want to make sure that this is the wrong side of your work. This, with the, the edges here, these ridges, this is the correct side of your work. You want this side of your work facing up at you. So it just so happens that where this ended up for me today, I'm going to put my corner here and work across the top. So I chained one when I turned. So right here in this very last stitch, I'm going to go ahead and put three single crochet. One, two, and three. Now I want to work 25 single crochet across until I get to this corner. I only had 24 to start with. This took up one of them. The corner here is going to take up one of them. That leaves me 22. So in between here, I'm going to have to add three single crochet in here. So I'll be doubling up as I go across. So I want 25. So here we go. Here's one, two, three, four, Five. I'm going to put six in that very same stitch. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to put thirteen in the same stitch. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to put 21 in the same stitch. 22, 23, 24, and 25. Right here in the corner, I'm going to put three single crochet. All right, so there is round one for our edging and you can see it's starting to pull it out a little bit on the sides. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. And these little puckers where I put extras in, those are going to even out as we do the rest of our work, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate my work. 
I'm going to fold my work in half. I'm going to grab a stitch marker. I'm going to indicate where that fold is halfway down there. And then as I open it back up, I know that since I don't have clear defined stitches along here to work in like what we did here, I'm going to have to have 12 or 13 at the halfway point. So, you know, 12 and then 13 or 13 and 12. This halfway point, this stitch just helps me realize whether or not I'm on task. So let's say if I do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm close if I do 2 in each one. So let's see where that gets us. When I say each one, I've got these little spaces as I work my way down. So here we go. Here's 1, 2, here's a space, so there's 3, here's a bigger space, 4, 5, here's a small space. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and here's twelve. So not quite to the halfway point, but I think we're going to be okay. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to go ahead and go seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Here's twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24 and 25. We were able to space them out a little bit more here towards the end, but that's okay. It'll play catch up as we go. Not a worry. So right here in the corner, I'm going to place my three single crochets for my corner. And we're going to rotate our work. Now again, I want 25 worked evenly across here. Here's my corner that's going to take up one. This is my corner that took up two. I originally had 24 to work with, so I've only got 22. So I'm going to have to add three single crochet in here somewhere. So we're going to do just like what we did down here, and we're just going to add as we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to throw seven in the same one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, there's thirteen and fourteen going into the same one, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, I'm going to do 20 and 21 in the same one, 22, 23, 24, and 25, and I'm going to place three single crochet right here in the corner, one, two, and three. There we go. And I'm going to rotate my work. And again, what we're going to do here, get things out of the way, is we're going to fold our work in half. And we're going to indicate where our halfway point is with this little stitch marker. And again, I know that I have to have approximately 12 or 13 to this point and 12 and 13 to this point for a total of 25 stitches as I work my way across this side. So again working in my little turn spaces there's one, two, three, four, I'm going to put five in there with that one, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's put thirteen in the same one there. There's thirteen. Let me take my stitch marker out. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and right here is going to be 25 right there. And I'm going to go to my first single crochet of that round where I put my first corner in. And I'm going to do a slip stitch to join that round together. I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to get my little scissors here and give myself a nice long tail to sew back in. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to pull my yarn through, and I've got these two little chains here. I'm just going to pinch them, and give them a nice big pull. And that's going to create a really, really nice tight knot that's not going anywhere. That's going to be set there. Okay, so we're done with that color. Let's grab our color that we're going to use for our edging. For me, it's white. It's whatever color you chose to be color A for our project for our crochet along today. I'm going to go ahead and get that on my hook. And I'm going to pick any corner I want. I can pick any corner I want to start in. I'm going to start in this corner here. So here I've got my very tippy tippy corner right here. I'm going to put my hook in through the front loop and the back loop of that. And just go ahead and slip stitch that on there. Pulling my tail to the back here, and I'm going to chain one. And in that same stitch now, I'm going to crochet three single crochets. So here's one, two, and three. And then across this first side of my work, I want 27 single crochet before I reach this corner over here. Now we should have exact numbers. We shouldn't have to double up anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. I'm right here at the corner, and I'm going to place three single crochet in my corner. Okay, so this is the first side of round two of our edging. And we're just going to rotate our work and we want 27 single crochet across until we get to this corner. And I'm not going to count each and every one across now. I'll count them to myself, but I know you don't want to hear that. So just enjoy the music while I work on the second side of round two of our edging.
26 and 27 and I'm gonna put three single crochet in my corner and I'm gonna rotate my work a quarter turn and that's the second part of our last round here for our edging and I'm gonna work 27 across to this corner Twenty six, twenty seven. Now, this is where I've got a knot, so it's going to be a little difficult to get in here. But here's one, two, and three from my corner with my tail kind of getting in the way. But we'll give that a tug and get that out of the way. And just one more side to go, and we'll be done with this one. Block twelve for our heirloom afghan crochet along. So let's get this last little bit of our edging completed. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, and I think I might have put an extra over here in the corner, so I'm just going to kind of pull this one in here with just a little reduction of twenty seven and slip stitch into the very first single crochet of that round, chain two. and finish off. And there we go. Now this one's a little cattywampus, I'm gonna agree. Let's see how it looks with block two. And there we go. I'd say that's pretty good. If you want to block your work, you can, you don't have to. I promise you, once you get all of these edges uh, connected when we put our afghan together all of this is going to even out just beautifully the only thing left to do for this one is let's add a tag I need to place a tag on it so we can identify it for when we put our afghan together later so this one here is called so this one here is our open ridge stitch And it is 
is block number 12 for our crochet along. And we're calling this one our skip a stone, skipping stones. And I'm just going to use my crochet hook to help me thread this string through so I can attach my label just like mm, I did it wrong didn't I I want it to go through this side I'm tired there we go just like that and there is our open ridge stitch block 12 for our crochet along well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for our crochet along today. I hope you enjoyed making this block. Like I said, you can block it if you feel that you need to, but I assure you it's not going to be necessary once we get everything put together. We also completed last week our horizontal relief stitch, and I just have to sew in some of my edges, but we've got some beautiful blocks coming together. So I'm really pleased with how our crochet along is going, but there's block 12 in the books. Make sure you join me next week for tutorials for our next block, which is called the Bushy Stitch. No puns intended anywhere, but we'll see how that one's going to look. And then we will do the full block in a premiere where we can crochet together. Until I see you then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.